The brush pose will work with special brush tips. We have some bristle brush tips with other brush tips too. Select one of the bristle brushes. It will work the same as we use in the real life. You can also see the brush preview at the top left side. We have different settings for these kinds of brushes. You can select the brush shape from the shape drop down. As you select the shape, the top left brush window will show the brush preview. You can see the stroke preview in the bottom window. You can set the quantity, length, thickness, stiffness and angle of bristles. You can see the live preview of brush and brush stroke in the windows. As you change the parameters, it will change the preview accordingly. The common features in normal brush and bristle brush are size and spacing. It will work the same as other brushes. Now turn on the brush pose. Draw a stroke with adding a pressure. Tilt X and Tilt Y will change the angle of the brush on the surface. Check the brush preview for better idea. Tilt X will tilt the brush front and back where Tilt Y will tilt the brush to left and right. Rotation will rotate the brush and the pressure will set the pressure on the brush. These four options work with the mouse in absence of a graphic pen. If you have a graphic pen that supports the tilt and rotation, you can fix these all properties with override options. Override will fix the tilt angle, rotation and the pressure so that your pen works like a mouse. Now let's talk about relative questions. Can we use the brush pose with normal brush? No, we cannot. The option is specially designed for bristle tips, erodible tips and airbrush tips. The second question is, why do we need to override a setting when a graphic pen supports tilt and rotation? Well, during the painting process, the graphic pen that we hold in our hand physically could change the stroke angles. If a pen supports tilt and rotation, and that might change the stroke we have expected. To set it uniform, we have override options.